Okay, so I had been doing a couple of these, you know, uh, getting teams together, uh, and uh, I, I made an all underrated team. I was thinking about making an all overrated team, but when I was trying to put it together, I was just, I really wasn't having fun with it. I don't like making a video where I'm just being negative for 10 minutes. That's not really fun for me. I want to kind of uh, have more fun with it. And I want to, you know, I feel like there's too much negativity in the sports world. I wanted to have some more positivity. So I scrapped that idea. And instead I'm going to go with something else. I am going to go with the all exciting team. Now, just to be clear on what exciting means, you don't necessarily have to be the best player. It's not about that. It's who do I enjoy watching on a game, which if I'm building the perfect uh, game, these are the players that would be on offense and these are the players that would be on defense. And just to be clear, I'm not just talking about what they do on the field. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about how entertaining their personalities are. Just entertainment in general is what I'm talking about. And so without further ado, Let's just get into it. Four quarterbacks, I gotta go with the Harvard grad, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, you know, Fitzpatrick, just such a fun guy where he'll 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 throw it up there and maybe he'll maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. He's sort of the definition of a gunslinger. He's so hard to root against too, because he just he just seems like such a likable person. Uh so he has a great personality along with uh such a fun play style. So that's why he's gonna make the all exciting team for quarterbacks. For halfback, I'm going Saquon Barkley right here. Saquon, uh, really, I think, really fun back. Where the way that he, you know, finds ways to get around tackles. Uh, you never know when the play is over because uh, right when you think he's wrapped up, he finds a way to get more yards. Uh, I just think he's exciting to watch, and those are the halfbacks I like watching. Uh, he's a highlight reel machine, so that's why he's on this list. For tight end, I'm going Kittle right here. Kittle for two reasons. One, again, his play style is fantastic. He gets wide open, which results in big touchdowns. Uh, he'll make these tremendous blocks that'll make you go, oh my goodness, is that person still alive? And on top of all of that, he just has a, cr a great personality. He, you know, big, big wrestling fan, I believe, and it shows. He can, uh, you know, he talks like a professional wrestler, and it's very, very fun. So definitely tight end, Kittle, no doubt about it. For wide receivers, how about DeAndre Hopkins? Again, this is a no doubter for me. I think Hopkins is one of those guys where he can run any route. He'll make these unbelievable, you know, catches that nobody thought he would be able to make. And when he gets the ball in open space, he can run and pick up even more yards. So he's electric to watch and you can't help but just look in his direction even when he's not getting the ball because of how exciting he is. For the other wide receiver spot, I'm going Odell here. And why am I going Odell? Because he can do pretty much everything Hopkins uh, can do. Maybe not as well, but he can, you know, he can make those uh, crazy catches that no one thought he could make he's fantastic in open space as well but the other thing I like about Odell is just that he you know fiery personality he's not afraid to get into it uh it's just sort of electric so again if we're talking entertainment no doubt about it Odell might be the most entertaining all-around receiver in the NFL for the flex position this goes to either a halfback a tight end or a wide receiver well why not just go with the player who seemingly is part of every single offense offensive position in football uh Taysom Hill uh, again, so electric. If we're talking about exciting, he is the definition of exciting. The fact that he'll make a Hall of Fame quarterback go out wide so that way he can take these snaps and do things, uh, he deserves uh, definitely the flex spot right here. Okay, so for offensive line, I, I struggled a little bit in how exactly I was going to do this. I decided to just go with the best offensive line, basically, for the most part. Uh, so for uh, the tackles and guards, I'm just going to list them all off. Trent Brown, David Bakhtiari, Quentin Nelson, and Zach Martin. Uh, to me, that just makes sense because it's exciting to see good offensive line play because that way the offense is able to push the ball down the field better. The one person I am singling out is center Jason Kelsey because not only is he also a tremendous offensive lineman, so they still will be able to, you know, play offense better. And I think offense is exciting. Well, yes, that's, you know, the sacks are exciting too. Uh, I think that as a whole, bad offensive line play equals bad to watch football. Uh, but I also think for, with Kelsey, he he's also has this fantastic personality. So I think he has that on top with being a great offensive lineman. So that's why I singled him out. For edge rushers, I am also going to be talking about multiple people at once here. I'm going to Watt Brothers right here, TJ Watt and JJ Watt. Uh, I'll start off with JJ Watt. Again, 
J.J. Watt, I don't know how well he's going to be once he comes back from his injury. Granted, he's been back from worse, uh, but we'll still have to wait and see. Uh, but even if he's not 100% healthy, he just, you know, even just him on the sideline, that's exciting. You know, <laughs> he'll give, he gives great sideline faces. So either way, he's definitely bringing something to the table. And then on the other hand, T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt's another uh, really exciting player. I think Watt, uh, T.J. Watt, more so his uh, place, the dial is exciting. The way he's explosive, the way he gets around tackles, and then we'll try to go through, and he'll find ways to get sacks, and he creates fumbles. Uh, it's very exciting, and he creates a lot of fun splash plays. And so I actually think that he is worthy of a spot on this list. I'm not just picking the Watt brothers because they're brothers. I think they're both individually worthy of their spots. For defensive tackles or interior defensive linemen, uh, I'm going to go Aaron Donald, number one. This is kind of an obvious one. I think Aaron Donald, uh, the way that he is able to generate so much pressure, again, sacks are exciting. So I'm going to go with people in the interior defensive line. I'm not going run stoppers, okay? I'm not, that's not exciting. That's important, but not exciting. Aaron Donald is exciting because he can get 20 sacks as a defensive tackle, which is just stupidly good. For the other interior defensive lineman, I'm going someone that most people are going to be saying, okay, wait a second. Uh, I'm going to go Mike Daniels right here. Mike Daniels, he deserves this spot because of how uh, great he is uh, off the field, how funny he is, and how entertaining he is when he's not on the field. If you haven't watched his, uh, there's a little video where they do kind of a film study breakdown uh, on NFL Game Pass. Uh, he was on one of those episodes. Check that out. Fantastic. Moving on to linebackers who are not edge rushers. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to figure out exactly what makes someone exciting in this category. My first pick is Bobby Wagner. Uh, I think, think that he's someone who can just, you know, he, he's one of the best linebackers in the league. I think the fact that he's a good run stopper will get people to throw the ball more, which is always fun. I also think the fact that, uh, you know, he can make those splash plays is also fun, uh, which is why I think that he adds excitement to this game. For my other pick, I'm going Darius Leonard. So again, kind of the same reason. Uh, really, I think, I think just good linebacker play makes for good football. I mean, at the end of the day, just good play in general makes for good football. I'm kind of just you know, doing this my own weird thing here. But I think that especially with linebackers, uh, you know, the better your linebackers are, uh, the less likely you will be to to run the ball or to make these short to medium range throws. You're going to throw the ball down the field more often, which is always fun. Four corners, easy first pick right here. Richard Sherman has to be on the all exciting team right here. First things first, he just is a tremendous uh, player and he can get interceptions, which are always fun. Uh, on top of that, he's just an incredible personality where love him or hate him, you care about him and he's interesting. So you got to, you, you, you want to watch him. I mean, he's uh, one of the hugest reasons why in Super Bowl 48, everyone was Broncos fans. Uh, just a, definitely exciting. My other pick is going to be another player who is Marcus Peters, who's kind of the ultimate exciting corner. He's like the Jameis Winston of corners, where he's going to go out to get an interception. Uh, and if he doesn't get the interception, it will probably, you know, he'll miss it and results in a touchdown. So he has that sort of uh, excitement to his game. Uh, on top of it, I mean, when he's playing with Baltimore, it's worked out a little better for him. And that's a good system for him. But I think especially if we could get him away from Baltimore, we're going to add a lot more excitement, I think. For safeties, first things first, Jamal Adams. This is an obvious one for me. He's, I think he's the best safety in the game, and he's also the most exciting safety in the game. And there's two different criterias to meet for those two things, and he meets both of them. What makes him so exciting is the fact that, yes, he gets turnovers. You know, he'll get fumbles. He'll get sacks even. And on top of all of that, he celebrates, which I think is exciting. You know, he's passionate. And I think that you can't really put a price on that. You know, the passion, it makes for a more exciting game. My other pick is going to be Jabril Peppers. I like him because he's kind of that Swiss Army knife type where, again, he'll get those splash plays as well. He can, uh, you know, he can run over and make these tackles for losses and things of that nature. I also think that, well, I think he's, you know, I think his coverage is underrated. I think he's still solid in coverage. You know, neither of these safeties are like super great shutdown uh, coverage corners, which I also think will add more excitement. More offense means more exciting. I mean, honestly, I could have just picked four terrible defensive backs. That would have been pretty exciting. But I like this better because they'll actually add excitement as opposed to just allow for more excitement to happen. And for my flex on defense, I am going Darius Slay right here. Big play Slay. The reasoning for Slay is I think that for one thing, I think that he is someone who can get burned from time to time, which is important 
when I am listing an all exciting team. I want somebody who can get burned from time to time because that makes for more excitement. The other thing is that, you know, he's big play slay. So late in the game, there's a good chance he's going to make this big play, this interception that clinches it, or maybe, you know, something else. And that also adds excitement. For kickers, I am going Young Way Koo, uh, largely just because of what he does uh, in the onside kick game. Uh, the way he's able to get so many onside kicks, I don't understand it, but is it a blast to watch? Absolutely. And finally, I don't even care that this player is not in the league anymore. I am going Pat McAfee. Uh, yes, this is breaking my rules, but who cares? This is a stupid list. I'm having fun with it. Again, one of the best personalities to come out of football that we have ever seen. Uh, the guy's got a, you know, he he could uh, he legitimately has done stand-up comedy. Like he's a tremendous uh, just personality in general. Uh, and also, you know, he was a very fun to watch punter as well. So we had that going for him. So yeah, that's my all exciting team. You can't tell me I'm wrong about this one because this is my pick. This is who I find exciting. You can't tell me I'm wrong. These are my opinions. Uh, some people still will. Uh, that's fine. You know what? That's, it's the internet. It happens. Who do you think you would have put on your list? Who do you think that wasn't on my list, but you think is very exciting? Or maybe what's a different way you would have done it? Would you have done bad offensive line play to get more sacks? Would you have done bad cornerbacks to get more touchdowns? Uh, things about that. Uh, I had a blast making this. It, it was stupid, but I, I don't know. I thought this was way more fun than trying to make a uh, an, an all uh, an all overrated team, which I, I, I don't know. I just don't like that. I just think it's there's there's it's just too negative for me. I wanted to have some fun. Uh, I like I like to have fun on these on these videos. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.